the channel. I'm the youngest bodybuilder. Get muscles on the workout. Subscribe and back the channel. What are you doing? I'm kicking your thigh. Uh, hello. Hello, Kai. guys. Kai. Uh, what? Kai. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Dancing the video. You what? Dancing the video. Your own video? Mine. You got your own channel? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. What's it called? Subscribing. I'm doing your channel. You're doing my channel? Why? Because it, is it rubbish? No, it's, it's beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Vlogging every day in August and this one is gonna cause some trouble. Hello guys and welcome to my channel John Shepherd Fitness. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe as I said in all my videos your support means a lot to me and obviously if you hit that subscribe button I know you at least are enjoying my content. But today it's going to be a juicy topic, another one which people are probably going to moan about and say it's the worst video ever and it's a touchy one and it's going to be a touchy one because I'm going to mention the magical S word, steroids. Yes, if you've seen the thumbnail already you probably know what it's going to be about and I'm talking about which is better, a natural bodybuilder or a steroid bodybuilder? Um, I was thinking about, obviously I've got a lot of vlogging to do in this August time and I was thinking about a video, I want to do obviously different videos and I haven't done a steroids video for a long time Yes, I don't know the ins and outs of steroids. I have never took them. I never will take them. I did have a thing about steroids that it is unfair. It's a bit cheating. People hated, hated that word when I was saying it, it's cheating. But I meant in a, in a way that it's not fair because if the bodybuilding world now became an Olympic sport, no one on that stage would be competing because they'd all be banned. And that's why I think sometimes steroids is a bit unfair when you've got people who work just as hard as the people. I'm not saying people on steroids don't work hard, but people who are natural and it takes them so much longer to get to a stage where they're not even going to be com competing anywhere near against people on steroids, as you can see in the pictures. So what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you two people in their prime, one natural and he's had, and both big YouTubers, right? And one's admitted he's full on steroids. He takes them, he's admitted to it. He, he probably got his YouTube famous because of these videos, obviously admitting he's on steroids, which is Brandon Harding. The other who has been accused of taking steroids for ages and he again and again says he doesn't and he proves it by doing tests and tests and tests because he proves them. People still don't understand that when you're in a competitive um, state like he does, and he does compete, he hasn't for a while, but he does compete, they can randomly ask you for a steroids test, you know, enhancements. Um, and because he is classed as a, as a natural and he's 
he's competing as natural, people can just randomly ask you for a test um, if you're still classified as competing in the bodybuilding team. So he proves it every time and you know what? He seems to be pretty genuine. I mean, he's a very, very humble, down-to-earth person. He doesn't... Why would he need to lie? I mean, he's... he's his knowledge of everything. I mean, when somebody like Christian Guzman, who pretty much knows everything about fitness, goes up to him on his on his summer shreddings and asks the man Jeff Lippard himself, "Can you do me a plan?" What does that tell you about how good that bloke is? So, all I'm going to do today, as I am going to do it. I'm going to say my own personal opinion on both um, subjects. What I think personally, um, not what you think. What your opinion is is completely different to mine. You might agree, you might not. Um, and the plus points and negative, negative points of both natural and enhanced. So then, let's go with the natural. Uh, obviously... A lot of people do natural. A lot of people still do bodybuilding natural because they don't want to inject themselves with anything. The good thing about being natural is you know it's all you. Everything that you put in, you have done it and it's all you. You're natural. You, no one can say you've took anything. And if somebody comes up to you and says you're on steroids, that is the biggest compliment you can probably get from anybody and it's a great feeling. I haven't been asked that because I'm nowhere near as big as them people who, you know, are competing. But um, the downsides of being natural is obviously it takes a lot longer to get to any stage of physique compared to somebody that's on steroids. You will work as hard but you won't see the result as quick. I mean, I personally don't know how long steroids take and how many cycles it takes, but obviously you saw, there's two pictures here now of Brandon Harding where he was natural and then in a few years time, look at the difference, yes. So, I'm probably suggesting, depending on how much you take as well, I know people who take, I mean, the big boys, you know, like you feel Hillis and all them, like they must be on some some huge amounts of uh, gear to um, actually get that size. You know, that, that's not just your normal dosage. Um, but you can see probably, I would say, about two to three years, you know, if you're doing it sensibly. Um, and plus also your genetics help and obviously your bone structure, you know, depending on what your body size is as well. If you're quite a skinny person, it's gonna take a lot longer. If you're quite big already, you're gonna put on the pound um, and shred off the actual weight, you know, and the fat. So natural is good because obviously you are gonna be able to say to everybody, I am natural, I, I'm healthy as well, it's, you know, I've got not taking anything, I don't, and I've still got my money because in steroids it costs a lot of money. I know somebody who I go to the gym with, and he's on steroids, and I think he's been on two cycles so far, and he's spent about eight hundred pounds. You know, because obviously when he's took his cycle of twelve weeks, I think he's he has. Then he's got to take another cycle, which is to make his all his body inside back to a normal human being, basically. He's all, all his testosterone and, all, and, he, and levels and all that. Like, he needs to all go back to normal. So I don't know all the ins and outs, but, you know, that's why I wouldn't take it because, you know, I'm not a doctor and I don't want to take stuff like that I haven't got a clue about, but... You know, you know the gist about it when people talk to you about it. Um, but he's got a lot stronger. I wouldn't say he's physically got bigger, but his uh, strength 
has got a hell of a lot stronger, you know, about the same weight as me, you know, he's, his deadlifts are strong, he's, he's, and it's all good form because his, his strength is, is just strong, you know, um, but the downside of steroids is obviously all the complications that come with it. You can, if you can overdose in steroids, you know, you can get addicted to it and you can take too much. You know, we all, we all know Rich Piana and obviously there's a lot of controversy where it's, it's probably steroids that have probably killed him. Uh, and obviously he did take a lot of drugs as well, but steroids probably helped um, with his death. So he was on hell of a lot um, because the size of him was crazy. I remember when I went to Body Power that my first ever time I saw him at the 5% stand and I was like, wow. His arms are like the size of my waist. It was like crazy how big he was. He wasn't exactly tall, this person, but he was massive in like arms. His arms was like huge, but he was such a nice person. Um, but they got that. You've got obviously got the that, and then you've got the whole. It it sends you can send you crazy. I mean, we all if if you're watching my channel. Now you probably signed up. You probably are signed up to somebody like Brandon Harding or something like that. And you saw him having a meltdown. I don't know if it was just for the camera, but it can send you a bit loopy, and it can t send you loopy in all different ways. Like when you're on it, it, it yeah, let anger levels go high. You know, you're just angry more. You know, so if you're an angry person anyway, you're gonna be even more angry. You know. Your your skin, if you've got quite delicate skin, you can it can affect your skin. It can give you acne all over your back, you know, on your chest, and, you know, and it, all this to look a little bit better and uh, and be better in a quicker time. Is it really worth all the downsides? Um, obviously. It doesn't mean everybody gets them as side effects uh, and not everybody dies off steroids, of course. But so if you take it sensibly, it's a lot more research and a lot, a lot more professionals now can tell you to take the right dosages and do all this. Obviously, if you're going, going to take steroids, I would suggest you don't just get them off some dodgy person in the gym. You, you get it off a well-known coach who's taking them themselves and does bodybuilding and he will know the right dosage for you because every every dosage is different for every person. Just don't take it because the same as what your mates take it because you could be completely different size, you know, and it could harm you in some sort of way. The plus side though is unbelievable. You you well we all we all know the plus sides. I mean you can just look amazing. You, I mean, you can look all year round, shredded, ripped. It's it's crazy. You 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 see all these magazines where they're all always ripped. Yes, they can be, they can be natural, but I don't guarantee most of them probably aren't. You 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 just physically are bigger. You're stronger. Your strength increases by a lot. So what does that mean? If you're stronger, that means you can lift more weight, you can lift heavier weight, you can go longer um, in the gym, So what, which is better for muscle development. So there's so many benefits to it. And also if you've got to think that if you're going to compete and think about trying to go professional, all of them are on steroids. So you've got to think about the next level and like there then so you've got to think about how you're gonna compete against somebody who's on steroids if you're natural me personally if if i think what looks better if i have to be truthfully honest i know 
I know you've, you've seen the two pictures right of Jeff Nippard in his prime and uh, Brandon Harden in his prime. Not, probably not the two best people to compete against each other as Brandon Harding's in a completely different weight class and he's a lot taller and a lot bigger anyway, naturally. Uh, as Jeff Nippard's a little midget. <laughs> he is. He's about 5'5". Five, five. Uh, but if you compare them in like muscle mass um, and presence on a stage, there isn't much difference because where you lose muscle, you can gain in that shredded look uh, and it's about compromising the two. You want to be able to be big and shredded and that's where if you um, watch Ryan Terry's uh, videos um, he talks about how he's one of the smaller ones on stage and that's why he thinks he, he, he didn't win at Olympia last year so he, he's now a little bit bigger and also he is probably out, out of the whole lot of the category the best conditioned person by far his six pack is amazing but his obliques his whole body is absolutely shredded but obviously they look at the size now and obviously size is comes with the, the territory on stage you can be shredded but if you're in the same category as somebody else who's shredded exactly the same but bigger they're gonna stand out a little bit more and that's mainly because the steroids help you get a lot bigger and stay shredded where if you're natural and you're big and you then you start cutting you will lose muscle mass and that's the benefit of steroids. Um, it eats away at the fat in steroids. So when you're actually cutting, you can keep your size, but obviously you can lose your body fat as well. So you will just get bigger and stay bigger and look bigger, even if you're cutting, if you're um, on a surplus and it's just, such a beneficial way of building muscle but it's obviously the downside is if you really really want to risk the complications because it's like anything we all take drugs for granted we all take alcohol for uh, granted we all take smoking for granted oh it won't kill me oh, it won't kill me but it just takes that one time and that's it you could have a reaction and you could lose everything um so would i take steroids no i wouldn't because i think in a way yeah if you're competing you have to but if you're just gonna take steroids just to look the biggest in the gym and that's it, or to pull women, or or just do something where you're not actually doing something beneficial from it. What is the point? You could still look just as good, maybe not as good, but just as good as a person in the gym who's on steroids and actually know that you can walk down the street, head eye, and go, I'm all natural, I'm all healthy, and I worked for my body, 100%. No help needed from anything. So if I had to choose between the two, it would be natural. It always will be natural. And it doesn't matter if I became famous now. Say, say, next, say, say next year when I compete. Just say, I won. And I beat 10 people and half of them was on steroids and half wasn't. Would that make you change your mind about steroids? Because 
why waste your money take loads of stuff harm inside your body when somebody who's natural beats you in the end in the end of the day it doesn't matter if you're taking steroids or you're natural it matters what you actually want to do you're the only person who can actually go away and do something about anything in your life you, you if you want to be the best you can be you can do it naturally or you can do it unnaturally whether it's taking steroids or taking psalms or whatever but when you have something to help you just remember when that help disappears are you going to be able to cope with yourself when you're not getting help and that's the same thing in anything in life if you're getting handouts all the time and then it's day stop what are you going to do with your life you know what i mean so it's the same with steroids if some if you was on steroids for two two three years and you great in great shape and then you found out you had a complication and the doctor said basically said you've got you can't take him anymore because it you will die. So you basically choose whether to live or not. Could you cope without not being on steroids? Because I know people who who have who are body conscious. I know people who like don't like their body, whatever they do, and steroids or no steroids, and it can affect you. And that's why I would go natural. I know it's always been natural because I know if I'm going to catch an illness, it's going to be a natural illness because of just human living. It's not going to be over something I've taken inside me. You know, if, you, an al if you're if you an alcoholic, you've got a good chance you might die of alcohol poisoning or, or something like that. Smoking, you could die of cancer. Um, more of a chance. Uh, 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 you could die of cancer because you've got more of a chance. Um, but it's your own choice. And that's the thing. It all depends on you. If you want to be the best and, and be like, be that next Ronnie Coleman, that next Phil Heath, that next Ronnie Winkler, you know, then you will have to take steroids because you will never compete against them. But how many of the people do you know and I know who have got that determination to be one of them? There is not that many people that I know who would ever compete with them, you know, in like, not in physique wise, in like mental wise, because it takes a hell of a lot of mental energy to do what they do as well. And that's another thing. You can take as much steroids as you want, but you don't see everybody looking like them, do you? The people who are taking steroids, you know, you see them in the gym. So they haven't got that mental side. They haven't got that that willpower, you know, to, I want to, I'm right, I'm taking this now. So I'm going to look the best. I'm going to compete. Oh, I'm going to be the strongest I've ever been, you know. And if you have done that, then fair play, you know, if you're, if you're now lifting 300 kg um, deadlifts or even more, then fair play to you because obviously you've achieved something from it and then maybe it's worth it. But is it worth it if something happens to you in the long run? Anyway, let me know about what you think about this and, you know, if any of you talk steroids or what, would, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the natural look or do you prefer the... the uh, steroid look um let me know down below obviously give me a thumbs up if you like this or give me a thumbs down if you hate this because at least if you gave me one you've watched it and that's all matters and sometimes you don't want to hear what you want to hear because it's a free world and people can't agree with everything but you know what we're not killing anybody, we're just having our own opinion and that's a good thing about 
like social media. People can have their own opinions on things. You know, I I don't disagree with steroids. You know, I used to, but I don't anymore because if you if it makes you happy, then that's all that matters. But there is risks to it. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow with my next vlogging every day in August. So I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, let's go!